as you're aware, a number of sheriffs from around the state have come to the Capitol today to talk about a, uh, a crisis that has arisen as a result of a decision by the Department of Corrections and Director Patton, uh, which really came down over the last three weeks or so, I believe. Uh, and it's a decision to remove uh, DOC, DOC inmates from county facilities and get them moved into uh, private uh, prison beds. It's become normal practice over the uh, last several years for our counties to house quite a, quite a few, quite a large number of DOC inmates. As a result of that, as you might expect, their budgets have become reliant on those uh, DOC inmates and the uh, daily reimbursement rate that they receive at $27 a day for the DOC inmates. The sheriffs that you, you may hear from today uh, will tell you they understand that they are DOC inmates and uh, it's certainly within the right of that state agency to take those inmates to a state facility, but we need some cooperation and some assistance from the Department of Corrections with, with respect to a plan to implement uh, this over the course of time. So our county budgets have the opportunity to uh, make changes, implement such changes, budget changes in, in specific that are going to be required uh, with the loss of thousands upon thousands of dollars. So it's not a question of fairness, it's a question of timing. Our counties do not have the luxury of having the dollars to, to make up very quickly uh, what the DOC impact is going to be here, the negative impact. So we're, uh, we're really looking for some time here in order to prepare for this and not the short period of uh, time frame that has been presented. Just to give you a little bit of a snapshot, a little bit more information about what we're talking about. Over a decade ago, uh, the Department of Corrections uh, was experiencing overcrowding. And they basically went into uh, conversations and, uh, with the Oklahoma Sheriff's Association and the sheriffs uh, to try to help uh, their situation by providing bed space in the county jails. As a result of those conversations, uh, many of the counties uh, and the county commissioners had to be on board. They assisted the sheriffs and they built jails uh, that would uh, hold uh, excess, uh, there would be excess beds in their county so that they could assist DOC with the overpopulation that uh, DOC was experiencing. There is no way we can make up a half a million dollars shortfall or void budget time coming up here in, in uh, July. There's, we can't cut all our offices uh, enough to make a half a million dollar shortfall. There's no way of uh, making this boat float. And we've just found out about it and they're already pulling our prisoners and uh, this month we're already taking a $12,000 hit in Mays County and uh, it's going to be a it's going to be a big void and uh, I have no idea how we're going to feel it. This is a situation that was not created by the counties. It was a situation that was created when DOC, the state of Oklahoma, needed help and the counties came to the aid of the state of Oklahoma. and. Really, the support has been being provided to the state by the counties, and if that framework is going to change, we believe there should be a, lo a larger or longer notice period.